So if you've been paying attention to the AI world, you know that the image editing model known as Nano Banana is getting an insane amount of attention right now. This is the model recently released by Google, powered by their Gemini 2.5 Flash model, and it's making huge waves. It's being hailed as a top-tier editor, and you've probably seen a ton of videos singing its praises. So today, we're going to put that hype to the test. I'm going to throw my own images and my own unique prompts at it, but we're not stopping there. We're going to put it in a head-to-head -head battle against its biggest rivals, Flux Context and the image editor inside ChatGPT4. Let's find out which one really stands at the top. Let's get our testing started. Now, you might be wondering what platform I'm using. To get all three of these models in one place for a clean, fair comparison, I'm using a service called Design AI. It's an awesome all-in-one platform that hosts a ton of different AI tools, from image and video generation to some of the best character consistency and lip-syncing tools I've ever used. They have almost every major image model you can think of, and they've conveniently grouped these chat-based editors together, which makes a showdown like this super easy to run. On the Design AI, once you're on the dashboard, just scroll down and look for the tool called Chat Editor. Clicking on that brings us to a canvas. Let's clear the default image and upload our own. For this, I'll just upload a picture of a model. Once the image is on the canvas, we just click on it and the Chat Editor button pops up. That opens our prompt box. We can upload multiple images here. Down below, we can choose our model, Nano Banana, Flux Context, or Chat GPT, select our aspect ratio, type in our prompt, and hit generate. It's that simple. With that out of the way, let's get to our first test. First up, let's see how these models handle a restoring a very rough, badly damaged old photograph. I'm uploading the image now, and let's start with Nano Banana. The prompt for all three will be restore and colorize this image, remove any scratches or imperfections. Let's click generate and see what it comes up with. Okay, here's Nano Banana's result. Honestly, for how damaged the original is, this is an impressive first attempt. The AI has to do a lot of guesswork here, but it seems to have interpreted both adults as female characters, which is a significant deviation from the original. Now, let's give the same prompt to Flux Context. And here's the output. To my eyes, this result from Flux Context looks much better and more authentic. It correctly identified a male and a female character and did a great job restoring the details. There's a slight artifact with the hands at the bottom, but overall, it feels more like a true restoration. Finally, let's give it a shot with ChatGPT model. Okay. ChatGPT's image is generated, and wow, this is a very impressive result. I have to say, my go-to for image restoration has always been Flux Context, but this generation from ChatGPT is just excellent. It feels clean, the colors are natural, and the faces it guessed feel plausible. I think ChatGPT actually takes the win here, narrowly beating Flux Context. Nano Banana comes in third. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. For our next test, let's upload this image and give all three models a fun, slightly tricky prompt. After opening the chat editor, the prompt is, generate the back view of the person in this photo. First up is Nano Banana. This is a complex request, and as you can see, Nano Banana has completely failed. It is a back view, but it's not the correct one. Not a good result. Now let's give the same prompt to Flux Context. Okay. Here is Flux Context result. It's a bit better than Nano Banana, but it's still not perfect. The AI clearly struggles to imagine what the back of this specific image should look like. Finally, let's try the same prompt with ChatGPT. Okay, ChatGPT's result is in. Check it out. I believe this is the best of the three. It's not perfect either, but it's much more believable than the other two. I tried tweaking the prompt to show me what she looks like from the back, but the results from Nano Banana and Flux weren't much better, and ChatGPT actually failed to generate an image, likely due to a content filter. So even though none were perfect, I'm giving the win to ChatGPT for getting the closest on the first try. Next up, let's upload a picture of my custom Bigfoot character. I'll select Nano Banana and give it the prompt, Bigfoot is standing in a river holding a salmon. Let's see the result. Here is Nano Banana's version. It's an okay image. It followed the instructions, but it doesn't feel very impressive or realistic. And more importantly, it lost the character consistency. 
Now let's give the same prompt to flux context. Okay, the result is in and you can see this is much, much better. It's about 98% similar to my original character. The overall atmosphere, the lighting, and the details of the water and forest look far more realistic. And now let's check ChatGPT's attempt. The salmon itself is very impressive and realistic, but it has significantly changed the face of my character. So for this round, the clear undisputed winner is Flux Context. For our next test, let's upload an image of a model I use often and give it a prompt involving a politician. The prompt is, she is having fun at a beach with Donald Trump. I fully expect Nano Banana to fail this as it's heavily censored. And yep, task error, just like I thought. I'll give the same prompt to Flux Context and ChatGPT, which will also almost certainly fail. But wait, look at this. Flux Context actually generated it. He looks a little different, but the resemblance to Donald Trump is definitely there. So at least Flux Context is less restrictive. And as expected, ChatGPT also gave an error. So in this case, simply by being able to generate an image, Flux Context is the winner. Let's try another approach. This time I'll upload two images, my model and a picture of Elon Musk. The prompt is, place this couple in Paris at night, sitting on a bench near the Eiffel Tower. Let's see if providing a reference image gets past the filters. And no, Nano Banana detected Elon Musk's face and threw an error. Now let's try a flux context. It generated it. The faces are pretty close to the originals, but it made Elon Musk's body disproportionately large, which looks unnatural. Still, it created the image which ChatGPT failed to do. So once again, our winner is Flux Context. Let's try that last prompt again, but this time instead of a celebrity, I'll use my Bigfoot character as the second image. Let's see if Nano Banana can handle two custom characters. Here's the result. It generated the image, but it changed my model's face. And the Bigfoot doesn't look the same either. It's not impressive. Now look at this. This is the generation from Flux Context. You can see that the Bigfoot here looks much, much more similar to my character, and the female model is also very close to the original. The facial similarity is completely lost in Nano Banana's version. ChatGPT gave an error again, apparently flagging my AI model as a celebrity. So in this round, the win undoubtedly goes to Flux Context. All right, for the next test, let's try a dynamic pose change. Using the same model image, the prompt is, put her in a mid-air jump in a celebrating pose. Let's see the results. So here is the result from Nano Banana, and this is quite impressive. This is a first result from Nano Banana that I've genuinely liked a lot. You can even see how her clothes have realistically lifted up with the motion. Now, if we look at the result from Flux Context, it's also very good. It even added a shadow on the ground beneath her. In terms of similarity, the face in the Flux Context image is much closer to the original. So for facial similarity, Flux Context is better. And ChatGPT, and it gave an error again. So in this test, I think the winner is Flux Context once again. All right, let's switch to a new image for this test, one that shouldn't trigger any filters. I'm uploading a picture of a woman I use for a lot of my tests. The prompt is simple. Put her in the thinker pose. Let's start with Nano Banana. Okay, all three results are in. This first image is from Nano Banana. It's, it's quite impressive. It definitely looks like the thinker pose, and it has impressively preserved the dots and marks on her face. This next one is from Flux Context. This is the classic the thinker pose, and the facial consistency is almost perfect. And here is the pose from ChatGPT. It's the thinker pose, but it has completely recreated the person. The face is quite different. For this comparison, I'm calling it a draw between Nano Banana and Flux Context. Nano Banana had a better pensive expression, but the facial similarity from Flux Context was unbeatable. For our next prompt, let's try changing the hairstyle. The prompt is give the person a short textured pixie cut, short on the sides and long on top. Here is the result from Nano Banana. It's a very impressive result. This is exactly what a pixie cut looks like, and the face is very similar. This next one is from Flux Context. This is the extra nice result. The facial similarity is even better here with almost no changes to her face. 
And this is ChatGPT's result, which as you can see, changed her face quite a bit. So for this round, I'm ranking Flux Context as number one, Nano Banana a very close number two, and ChatGPT as number three. Okay, next I've uploaded two images, the same female photo and a picture of a cowboy hat. My prompt is simply place the hat on the person. Let's check out the results. This first one is from Nano Banana. It's a perfect generation. It preserved the face completely and placed the exact hat on her head. This next one is from Flux Context. Here too, the face is exactly the same and she's wearing the same hat perfectly. The only slight difference is that Flux Context sides the hat more appropriately for her head. And finally, ChatGPT added the hat perfectly, but it changed her face and eyes. In terms of character consistency, both Nano Banana and Flux Context are excellent, but Flux Context gets a slight edge for the better sizing. I'll still call this a tie between the two because both results were very good. Let's try an emotional expression change. The prompt is, show that the person is extremely sad, make their eyes filled up with tears. Let's start with Nano Banana. Okay, so ChatGPT gave an error on this one. But if we look at this generation from Nano Banana, it's incredibly impressive. In my opinion, this is a perfect execution of the prompt. You can see the sadness and the tears streaming from her eyes. This is the generation from Flux Context, which I don't think is as good. The expression isn't convincingly sad and the tears look unnatural. So in this round, the winner is clearly Nano Banana. Next, let's change the style. The prompt is, transform this image into a marble statue. Let's see how it does. This marble statue was generated by Nano Banana. It's a very impressive generation. This next one was generated by Flux Context. It's also incredibly impressive. Honestly, both images are perfect. I can't decide a winner. Now, let's see ChatGPT's version. Okay, this generation is from ChatGPT4. It's good, but it's not as impressive as the other two, mainly because it changed her face. So ChatGPT is the loser here, and the other two are joint winners. All right, next let's try a dual character prompt with our model and Bigfoot. The prompt is, have the Bigfoot and the woman sharing a coffee and laughing together in a cozy rustic cafe. This is a very tough prompt. Let's see the results. This first one is from Nano Banana. The result is okay, but it looks more like a 3D render than a photorealistic image. This next result is from Flux Context. It's also a stylized result similar to Nano Bananas. And this result is from ChatGPT. It looks realistic, but the faces of both characters have been changed significantly. Overall, all three models failed on this one, so I'm calling this a draw as an unsucceeded. Now let's test text editing capabilities. I'm uploading an image with the text good vibes only. My prompt is a bit complex. Change good to bad and vibes to sides. Here's Nano Banana's result. It was supposed to write bad sides only, but it wrote booed sides only. It failed on the first word. Next is Flux Context's result. It wrote sides sides only. It changed both words to sides. So this one failed as well. This last result is from ChatGPT. As you can see, it changed the text perfectly to bad sides only. The winner here is clearly ChatGPT. All right, for our final test, I've uploaded a photo of an empty room. The prompt is to furnish it in a modern style with a specific color palette. Let's see the results. This is Nano Banana's result. It's the same room and it has been decorated, but it doesn't feel very realistic. This next result is from Flux Context. This generation is quite good, but the table in the middle only has two legs, which is a dead giveaway that it's AI generated. And this generation is from ChatGPT. It's very impressive. It's the same room, beautifully decorated with all the right elements and no obvious flaws. Overall, I think ChatGPT's generation is the best. So there you have it. That was our in-depth comparison. A lot of hype has been created around Nano Banana. It is a very good and impressive model, especially as a free option. But as we saw, it's not quite the unbeatable champion it's made out to be. Throughout these tests, Flux Context and ChatGPT often delivered superior results in different categories. If you want to try these tools yourself, remember the platform is Design AI. It has all these models and more, including amazing consistent character and AI video tools. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked this deep dive. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.